this video is going to build upon my previous one, Percentage of an Amount. If you haven't watched that video, I'd recommend you watch it first. There'll be a link to it in this video's description. In this video, we're going to learn how to increase or decrease by a percentage, and we'll start by looking at how we increase. For example, increase £440 by 10%. Imagine this bar here represented 100% of something, so all of it. And if we split it into 10 equal sized pieces, each one of those would represent 10%. To increase something by 10%, we want an extra 10%. So let's take a copy of one of these 10% and then add it on. So in total, we have 110%. Now let's do the same idea with the 440 pounds. Imagine this bar here represents all 440 pounds. If we divide it into 10 equal sized pieces, we'd have 44 pounds since 440 divided by 10 is 44. Each one of these 44 pounds represents 10%. So if we want an extra 10%, we want an extra 44 pounds. So let's take a copy of one of these 44 pounds and add it on. If we now added up all of this, we'd have a total of 484 pounds. And that would be the answer to this question. Let's have a look at how we can write this down. So for this question, the first thing to do is find the 10%. And we know that 10% is done by dividing by 10, 440 divided by 10 is 44. Then because the question says increase, we're going to add this on to the total. So we take 440 pounds, then we increase it by adding on 10%, which is 44 pounds, which will give you a total of 484 pounds. Let's try a second example in this way. Increase 280 pounds by 50%. So our first job is to find 50%. We know we can find 50% of something by dividing it by 2. So 280 divided by 2 is 140. Now because it says increase, we're going to add this on. So 280 pounds plus the 50%, which is 140 pounds, will give you a total of 420 pounds. Now let's try a couple of examples where the percentages are slightly more difficult. Increase 180 pounds by 35%. Here we'll use a non-calculator method to find 35%. We'll start with 10%, which is £18. Another 10% is also £18, and so is another. Here we have 10, 10, and 10, so that's 30%, so we just want 5% more. We can find 5% by dividing 10% by 2. 10% divided by 2 is 5%, and £18 divided by 2 is £9. So if we now add up all of these, 10% at 10% at 10% at 5% is 35%, and if we add up 18, 18, 18, and 9, we get a total of 63. So we found 35% of 180 pounds, but we need to increase it, which means we need to add it on. So we take the 180 pounds and add on this 35%, which is 63 pounds, to get a total of 243 pounds. Let's try one more. Increase 2,100 grams by 13%. I'm going to start with 10% again, which will be 210. Then I'm going to find 1% by dividing the original number, 2,100, by 100, which will be 21. Then if I take another 1% and another 1%, and then add all of these together, 10%, 1%, 1%, 1% will be 13%. And if I add up all of these numbers, I'll get a total of 273 grams. Then because it says increase, we're going to add it on. So 2,100 grams plus 273 grams is 2,373 grams. Now let's take a look at how we would do a percentage decrease. So in this question, it says decrease 700 milliliters by 40%. We'll start once again by finding this 40%, but once we've found it, since it says decrease, we'll subtract it rather than add it. I'll start by finding 10%, which will be 70 milliliters, then multiply this by 4, since 10% multiplied by 4 is 40%, and 70 multiplied by 4 is 280. So now that I found this 40%, which is 280 milliliters, and it says decrease, I need to subtract this from 700 rather than add it on. So 700 subtract 280 will give us 420. Let's do one more example of a decrease. So decrease 46 centimeters by 15%. I'll start by finding 10%. To do this, we divide 46 by 10, which is 4.6. Then we want another 5%, so we'll half the 10%. 10% divided by 2 is 5%, and 4.6 divided by 2 is 2.3. If I add these together, I get a total of 15%, and 4.6 add 2.3 is 6.9. Now because this question says decrease, I need to subtract this from the original amount. So 46 subtract 6.9, 
is 39.1. Here are a couple of questions for you to try. Why don't you pause the video and then press play when you want to check the answers. So for this first one, we need to find 25%. I'm going to do this by finding 50% first. 50% of 540 is 540 divided by 2, which is 270. I can then find 25% by dividing these by 2. 50% divided by 2 is 25%, and 270 divided by 2 is 135. Now because this question says increase, I need to add this on. So 540 plus 135 is 675. For the second question, I need to decrease by 6%. To find 6%, I am first of all going to find 10%. 10% 10 of 320 is 32. I am then going to divide this by 2 to get 5%, and 32 divided by 2 is 16. Now I no longer need this 10%, so that was just to help me work out 5%. I do need another 1% though, and I can get that by dividing 320 by 100, which is 3.2. If I add these together, 5% and 1% is 6%, and 16 plus 3.2 is 19.2. Because this question says decrease, we're going to subtract this. So 320 subtract 19.2, which will give you a total of 300.8. The approaches we've used so far are non-calculator ones. Let's have a look at how we could use our calculator to do percentage increases and decreases. Let's return to the original question, increase £440 by 10%. When we did this, we took 100% and then added on 10%, which would give us a total of 110%. So another way of asking this question, increase £440 by 10%, is to say find 110% of £440. Now if you think back to the previous video, we know how to write out a calculation that will do this for us. We take the percentage, 110%, and then divide it by 100. We could write this as a decimal as 1.1. We would then multiply this by the amount in the question, £440, and this would find us 110%. If you do this, you will get the answer 484. This method is quite fast and effective if you have a calculator. Let's do a second example in this way. So we're going to increase £280 by 50%, one of the questions we did earlier. So since we're going to increase by 50%, we start with 100% and imagine adding on 50%, which would be 150%. So we could think of this as saying find 150% of 280. To do this, we take the 150, divide it by 100, which will give you 1.5. And then we just multiply this by the £280. If you type this into a calculator, you will get the right answer, £420. Here are two more for you to try using this calculator approach. For the first one, we're going to increase by 35%. So we start with 100% and then add on 35%, which is 135%. So we want to find 135% of £180. We take the percentage 135 and divide it by 100, which will be 1.35. We then multiply this by £180, and we'll get the answer £243. For the second one, we're going to increase by 13%. So we start with 100%, add on 13%, which will give you 113%. So we could think of this question as saying, find 113% of 2100. To do this, we would do 113, divide by 100, which is 1.13, and then multiply this by 2100, and you'll get 2,373 grams. Now what about if we use this approach for a percentage decrease? Well, let's look back at one of those previous decreases we did. Decrease 700 milliliters by 40%. Let's think about what this looks like with a diagram. If we have 100% and we're going to decrease by 40%, then we need to find 40% of it and then take that off. If you remove 40% from 100%, you're doing 100% subtract 40% which will leave you with 60%. So the final answer to this question is just the same as finding 60% of 700. So find 60% of 700 milliliters. We already know how to do a calculation like this from the previous video. We do 60, divide by 100, which is 0 0.6, and then multiply this by 700, which will give you the answer 420. Some people find this a bit confusing at first, but decreasing by 40% is exactly the same as finding 60%. Let's do a second example. So in this one, we're going to decrease 46 centimeters by 15%, another question from earlier. So since we're decreasing by 15%, 
we could imagine 100% and then subtract that 15%, which would leave you with 85%. So really, we just need to find 85% of 46. We can do this by doing 85 divided by 100, which is 0 0.85, and then multiply this by 46, which will give you the answer from before, 39.1. Here are two more decreases for you to try. In this first one, we want to decrease by 12%. So we do 100%, subtract 12%, which is 88%. So we just need to find 88% of 900 pounds. For this, we do 88 divided by 100, which is 0 0.88, and multiply this by 900, which will give you 792 pounds. For this next one, we want to decrease by 3%. So we start with 100% and subtract 3%. This will be 97%. So we just want to find 97% of 370. To do this, we do 97 divided by 100, which is 0 0.97, and multiply this by 370. And this will give you 358.9 grams. There is some language you need to be aware of with this approach. Take these two questions here with these answers. The only difference between these two calculations is these numbers here. And these numbers have a special name, we call them multipliers. If you want to increase a number by 25%, you multiply it by 1.25, and if you want to decrease it, you multiply it by 0.75, and this is why they're called multipliers. For this reason, it's actually more common to write the calculation in the opposite order. So rather than 1.25 multiplied by 200, 200 multiplied by 1.25, and the same for the 0.75. So we tend to multiply the amount by the multiplier. Sometimes exam questions refer to multipliers. For example, a question could say, write down the multiplier for a 30% increase. If we wanted to increase by 30%, we would do 100% plus 30%, which is 130%. We would then divide this by 100, which will give you 1.3. This is our multiplier. If you want to increase any number by 30%, you just multiply it by 1.3. It could also say write down the multiplier for a 30% decrease. Here we do exactly the same thing, apart from we subtract 30%. So 100% subtract 30% is 70%. And if we take the 70 and divide it by 100, we get 0 0.7. So the multiplier for a 30% decrease is 0 0.7. Here's another question for you to try. Why don't you write down the multipliers for the following percentage changes? For the first one, we want a 24% increase. So we do 100% plus 24%, which is 124%. We then take 124 and divide it by 100, which is 1.24. So the multiplier is 1.24. For a 24% decrease, we would subtract 24% instead, which will give you 76%. We then divide this by 100, which is 0 0.76. For an 8% increase, we want to do 100% plus 8%, which is 108%. We divide 108 by 100, which is 1.08. Finally, for an 8% decrease, we do 100% subtract 8%, which will be 92%, so we divide 92 by 100, which is 0 0.92. It doesn't matter which approach you use, you can find the percentage and then add or subtract it, or you can use a multiplier, although multipliers will become useful in some harder percentage topics. Now that you know how to increase or decrease by a percentage, let's have a look at a couple of exam style questions in context. For this first question, it says a shop sells some trainers for £150. Paula has a voucher for 30% off. Work out the price that Paula pays for the trainers. For this one, the numbers are quite nice, so it may appear on a non-calculator paper. So let's use the approach of finding the percentage and taking it off. So since Paula has a voucher for 30% off, and the price is normally 150 we need to find 30% and then take this off. So let's find 10% first of all of £150, which will be £15. If we then multiply this by 3, we'll get 30%, and 15 multiplied by 3 is 45. So the 30% voucher is worth £45. And since Paula gets 30% off, we'll subtract this from 150. So we'll do 150, subtract 45, which is 105. So the answer is Paula pays £105 for the trainers. In this next question, it says... In 2023, the value of a house was £250,000. In 2024, the value of the house increased by 3%. We need to work out the value of the house in 2024. For this one, we're going to use the multiplier approach. 
Since the house increased by 3%, we'll work out the multiplier for a 3% increase. We'll start with 100%, then add 3%, which is 103%. If we then divide 103 by 100, we get 1.03. So the multiplier for a 3% increase is 1.03. So all we need to do is take the value of the house, £250,000, and then multiply this by 1.03. This will give you the answer, £257,500, which is the answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and why not try the exam questions in this video's description.